Hello my darlings, welcome to a new vlog. This is a vlog that I was not expecting to happen because I have got a bonus, a bonus day today. Long story short, quite boring and logistical, but I will give the quick version. I was meant to be getting back home from Provence really late tonight before flying to Italy very early tomorrow, but I had the opportunity to get an earlier flight and when I say earlier, I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning this morning, <laughs> France time, which is probably 1am UK time, hence the very tired face and why I'm about to go and make a coffee, but managed to get an earlier flight home today, so I actually have this bonus day at home. When I was packing for Provence, I got everything laid out so that even in my tired mid-travel slumber and my very short slot between coming back from Provence and going to Italy I could just kind of swap over suitcases but now I've got all this time I am going to cherish every <laughs> second I've really incredibly luckily been able to um, get an appointment with Nicole and she's gonna come over to do a mani-pedi which is the dream my plan B was to find somewhere in Florence to get that done. I also, as soon as I knew that I would have this day, I did place a few orders <laughs> for some lovely holiday bits um, that I think will be gorgeous to wear in Italy. We're doing Florence, Lake Como, Lake Garda and Verona. So lots of travel coming up. I really hope that these videos and the two videos in France, the Bourmes Mimosa video and the Provence video, I hope that they're useful if you are planning any wonderful European holidays. And I just absolutely love that I get to bring you along with me. So a few new, I say a few, I've ordered a lot of stuff um, and other stories, anthropology randomly, um, because I saw someone share a dress and I had to add it to basket. And what else do we have? A few smaller um, independent brands as well. So I will be, oh, and also Away That Day bikinis, which I love. I think I first found them um, because Charlie actually bought me one once and I love them. I find them so flattering. So I've got lots of things to try on and to hopefully pack for Italy. Hopefully everything will be perfect. And to add on to all of this, it's also a gorgeous day here today. So I will, of course, <laughs> be doing some gardening because... As soon as I arrived home, obviously kissed my boys, <laughs> Charlie, Dexter and Dickens, um, and then I ran down to the garden to see how it all was, and there's lots that I need to do. I do need to do, as always, lots of deadheading, lots of picking, and I need to support my mange too. So I'm going to do that today. I'm not sure what time Nicole is coming. She'll either be here at half one or like half three-ish, depending on her availability. She's really doing me a huge favour by squeezing me in today. So it's going to be... A nice day, a bonus day, and then tomorrow, super early, 4am, we are heading to Tuscany. Oh my gosh, it's not just Florence. It's Tuscany, then Florence. I think I'll include Tuscany in this vlog, and then do another one for Florence so that I can keep all the travel separate. Don't even think about jumping on there, Dexy. I've got Dexy in here because the boys are so needy at the moment because they've not seen me for a week. Well, five days. Anyway. Enough chit chat, I also need to do a mega pamper later, I need to add some super hydration into my skin. As you can hear, I still have a tiny bit of a cold and I think that aircon and aeroplanes, if they're doing that to my insides and my skin is what's getting the brunt of it, I need to do some mega hydration and skin repair. So that will be my afternoon pamper. But for now, I need some lunch and let's get into the garden. Well, it may not quite be as hot as the south of France, but honestly, not too far off today. It's about 25 degrees. Look at this. So this is really funny. So if you watched the um, second France vlog, my last one, the Provence, this is Verbena, but also the variety that we saw in the fields that L'Occitan used for their products was a different variety of Verbena, and it was much more bushy. And this really doesn't have a smell to it. It wouldn't be a great perfume. Um, Whereas the Verbena perfume that Loxitan make literally smells exactly the same as the one that they were growing in the fields. Absolutely gorgeous. So, oh, it's so lovely. Look at the size of this. When I went away, it was maybe that big. And now it's huge. This is geranium. Oh my gosh, this weather is actually glorious. I've got some rose dead heading to do. Hydrangeas are nearly coming out on this side. I don't know, but oh, it does look like someone has been watering this for me. 
probably Charlie. Thank you, darling. Let's see how my tomatoes are doing. I actually thought that they would be a bit riper, but that one needs tying in. They're coming along nicely. If we get a few more days like this, they will be going wild. I pricked out my kale at 4 a.m. before <laughs> heading out on my last flight, and that all seems to be doing really well. These are the ones that are still in the plug tray. These little ones here. And then, ah, this is what I wanted. Some of my pea shoots, because I'm gonna do my classic avo toast. You've seen me make this a million times before, but lovely brunch. Sliced avo on toast with sumac, dukkha, seed mix, olive oil, chili flakes, salt, and, ooh, I think I actually forgot the salt. Need to go back for that. And my lovely fresh pea shoots. And then I've got a lemon and mint tea. And my baby. My baby. Oh, mommy is so glad to have had an extra day with her little weenie weenie weenie. Sausage dog in a bikini. That was absolutely delicious. I probably have so many seeds in my teeth after that. Um, I've just had a text from Nicole. She's going to be here in half an hour, which is great. So that means I've got half an hour to get all of the jobs done, which could be nail ruining jobs in the garden. And then, um, I'm going to be sitting down for a couple of hours getting pampered. There is no promises that I won't fall asleep during the appointment because I have been awake for a very long time. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to start with the bits in here. I'm going to tie up my, um, my tomatoes, get rid of any extra leaves and just do a little bit of greenhouse maintenance. Now this is really exciting, to me at least, <laughs> down here in the kitchen garden because I have got my first purple monge too. They really need supporting, I was not expecting them to grow anywhere near this big. They're literally like, I don't know, they need almost two meters of support. I'm not too sure what to do. Um, as you can see, they're just going a bit wild. I'm going to pick all the monge too that are here at the moment in pod and that will encourage more and I'll have to ask mum if she can keep picking them while I'm away um, but yeah I should have done them somewhere where they could have climbed a little bit more I should have done them on my bean support over here let's check in on the beans how are they doing see these are oh yeah look these are the purple potted monge too so I did do a few up here but not quite as many as on the other side. We don't have any beans yet. We do have a little bit of an aphid problem. That's annoying. I might have to pick some of those. Um, but yeah, no beans yet. Lots of peas that need tying in. Lots of purple podding monge too that can be picked and snacked on. Yeah, there's lots of tying in that needs to be done and lots of picking. So again, I'll see if I can get as much of that done as possible before my nails. And then we've got, oh look, We've got a little stripy courgette down here. You're a good size to be picked. Nice, ooh, someone else has had a nibble on you. That's a shame. We've got our first good size eight ball courgettes. I think mum's taken the big one from here, which is good for her lunch salad. And then I've got the yellow courgettes down here. They're a really good size, especially in pasta dishes. And I did spot, if we go for a little forage in here, can you see over there? Ooh la la. We got some big ones. Stripy zucchini. I'm sure we'll be having a lot of this in Italy next week. There's another couple. Ooh, three or four here that are ready to go. Perfect. amazing are these dahlias. The colours are just so beautiful with dahlias. They're a bit unusual in that if you pick them when they're not quite fully open, like for example this, unlike a rose or a tulip, they won't actually continue growing and opening once they're 
once they're picked. So you have to wait until they're really in their absolute best stage before you snip them. Um, but it's important that you do snip them because for every one that you snip, maybe three or four more will grow in its place. We're obviously going to be away for a while, so we're not going to be home to enjoy these. But I think we've got some guests checking into the cottage tomorrow morning. So I will leave these, or I'll give them to Charlie, to leave them in Strawtop Cottage. So Nicole is here. We have done the nail prep with Dexie's help as always and Nicole has brought with her, she does biosculpture and builder and all the all the favourites. These are the builder colours. I think I'm gonna go for just something nice and neutral. What a surprise! Um, but then a little bit brighter pink on my toes. I always think it looks so nice when your nails are actually empty or non-painted but perfectly prepared, it looks so nice. And I'm having that weird reaction again to my wedding ring, so that is not on at the moment, but hopefully I'll be able to wear it again in a few days. Dexie's guarding the colors. What are you gonna go for, baby? I think I'm, I'm a red boy. I think I look good with red claws. You've got very bad breath. So the nails are done. I'm showing you them on a courgette because Nicole is taking home a couple of courgettes from the garden. So we've got Dolly from the Builder Gel um, collection on my fingernails and on my toes. It's a really lovely, pretty, ooh, free foot content. Um, it's a shade called Cosmos, which is absolutely gorgeous, another floral. So Nicole's husband cooks incredible Indian food, so I can't wait to see what they're gonna make with some of my courgettes. <laughs> Yummy! I always just feel so much more put together <laughs> when I've got nails done so that was a true blessing that Nicole could squeeze me in today. So it's half past four now and it's still 26 degrees outside. I've got a lot of things I still need to do including my pamper shower, including trying on all the clothes that arrived over the last couple of days, including packing, including doing some more gardening. But I just so desperately want to have a half hour nap in the sunshine. I don't know if I can warrant the time. I might just go and get changed into something less than this dress and do another quick whiz around the garden and then have a power nap before getting on with the rest of the things on my to-do list. And so I'm going to change out of this lovely dress. I'll just show you the dress before I whiz it off. It's got lots of lovely ruffly layers, which you can see. Um, reveal a little bit of the shin down below and then it's a bit longer at the back but it's still quite a relaxed material it's got this beautiful floral pattern and then the sleeves which have got the little bows to tie you up at the top I haven't decided if I'm going to take this with me to Italy yet I'm not sure maybe it's more of an Ibiza dress I don't know I can't decide I think it'll depend on how fabulous the other dresses are that I'm about to try on but yeah I'm gonna go and pop on a bikini top and shorts do a quick gardening blitz and then we'll have a power nap. I just wanted to show you a hydrangea update on this side of the house. Ooh, oh no! My alley and pom-poms are on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna have to come and snip these because that won't do. Um, but yeah, they do dry out really beautifully. That's such a shame. They've obviously got too heavy and then it's rained and the weight of the rain has made them flop over. But my gosh, look at these. Nature's pom-poms and the abundance of them in these borders is just incredible. But again, they just get so tall. And then when, the, when it rains, they get, they get weighed down. It's such a shame. We just had it the wrong way around this year, the rain and the sun. Um, so they're all kind of flopping over. Maybe we need to do as we saw at De Ville saint ange in Provence and do some kind of trellising up the back for them. That could look amazing. But maybe they'll, yeah, you can see they're kind of snapping. Such a shame, such a shame. Great year for them, other than the weight of them. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sure there's something that we can do. But the garden's just looking absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Don't often bring you around this side when I'm doing gardening, gardening videos, but lovely. And my goodness, it is toasty. Bunny, I think it's a little bit too hot for you there. I think it's a bit too hot for you there, my teen teen ween ween. Oh, I love you so much. Mummy's gonna miss you so much.
Okay, I've just dragged myself away from the garden because I really, really need to pack. Um, and I've got quite a lot of things I need to try on. I'm probably not gonna do a full try on with you. I don't have the face, <laughs> the hair or the makeup for it, but I wanted to do this quickly before I hop in the shower because I'm not gonna put makeup on for the rest of the evening. And when I try things on, I prefer to see how I look when I've got makeup on. I know that sounds a bit weird, but let me know if you can relate. So I'm not gonna film a full try on, but I might just insert a couple of clips as I try things on. This is a lovely dress from and other stories. It's got a lovely smocked bodice, and I love the style of the skirt. Again, quite illuminating on the old flat chestedness, but I would say it actually looks better in real life than it does on camera. Um, and I think this is a really nice thing for a day exploring Florence, bre breakfast in Tuscany, that kind of thing. What I will show you now though, are the accessories that I got from Anthropology. And now that I have them here, I'm realizing how ridiculous the quantity that I've ordered is. So, they have got an amazing selection of hair clips at the moment, and I love to clip my hair up, especially on holiday. This is a giant claw clip with a bow on it, so I think for a half up, half down, and your head will be like this like that. So this will be resting on the back. I think that's going to be so cute. I think I accidentally ordered two of these. <laughs> Definitely didn't mean to order two, so I'm going to return one because they're £20 each. These are not cheap. But again, really nice big hair clip for sweeping the hair away. This plastic style I just find so handy. I'll probably just take this one champagne-y pearlescent one with me. These were three for £26. Again, not cheap considering they're just plastic, but um, yeah, these do come in super handy. And then this I thought was really adorable. It's got a green ribbon wrapped around it and then it just has this loose little bow. Gosh, 18 pounds, oh my goodness, they are making a fortune on these. But yeah, that one's definitely, definitely coming with me. I'll cut the tags off. Uh, quite a nice, smaller size clip, and I think the little tassels will be adorable. This one's quite a bit bigger. It's got like a pearly twizzle to it. If you do that really chic when you like twist your entire hair up, I prefer to do a half up, half down, but I think this size, if you do twist your entire hair up, which maybe I will play around with, that would be gorgeous for that, as would this one. A little bit more kind of structural in its shape. I love that pearl, I think that's really pretty. And then last but not least, I do use this size quite a lot. I love the pink and the champagne color the most. They're a little bit mother of pearly and they're good quality. They've got gold on the inside. These were three for 22 pounds. Again, a lot of money, um, but I really do use things like this pretty much every day. So that's a nice little selection. I'm sorry for this awful messy angle, but I'm just gonna quickly run you through a few new swimming costumes. None of this is gifted or press discount, by the way. This is all just regular purchases. Now, I think this swimsuit was from Anthropology. It's like a lemony seersucker. It looks very long. My bodice is not that long. I'm gonna give these a try now. I'm not gonna show that on camera. I'm just not in the mood, but I do love a high leg. I'll pop the model images of these on the screen. So I'm gonna give those a try in a second. This one, again, I think was Anthropology or and other stories, but I'll leave everything linked down below. I do, I love this stretchy seersucker material. I think it's so flattering and I do love a bow tie on the shoulders. I thought that would look very very cute. I think this was and other stories. I like the funky straps on this. You could definitely wear it as a crop top as well and the bottoms are a little bit skimpier with the side bow. And then away that day they just get me with their Instagram ads. I spent a small fortune on this brand's website, an absolute fortune. But I think they're adorable, the quality is really lovely and a lot of my favorite pieces are from Away That Day. I actually already bought these a couple of years ago, um, but they're my favorites and now mine have got a little bit of like coloring here from my SPF and my fake tan, so I've got another pair. As you can see, they're quite cheeky. Again, the model pictures will be on the screen. I'm now realizing that I definitely already have this exact one. <laughs> Whoops-a-daisy. That's so funny because I actually saw Amelia Taylor wear this on her Instagram and I was like, I want to get that. And now that I'm seeing it in real life, I've just realized I have it. I think she was showing a lot more of the gold. Um, I don't know how she did that because mine always pings around and just is like fabric covering it. But I love a bandeau bikini and as you can see, these are all mix and match top and bottom. Whoa, this one is a lot dinkier. <laughs> My gosh, way less fabric. That's just going to cover the nipples. I'll probably be able to get away with it, but anyone with bigger boobs than me, my gosh, that could be 
a drama waiting to happen. They've released this olive colour which I thought was gorgeous. That's quite a plain swimming costume and I know this probably will have been over £100 so that really needs to look insane on for it to be keepable. This one's got a really nice texture to it. I really did go mad on this website. I used Amelia's, um, Amelia Taylor's affiliate link. So I hope you got a good pick, kickback, Amelia, because this was a big order. Really nice texture on this one. And I love the fact that it's square across the top. I think I'm gonna love that. Hopefully the breeze is not muffling the microphone too much. And then this uh, swimsuit also comes with a belt, as you'll have seen on the model picture. Another belt for this swimsuit, which is the same but in green, really nice texture. And then back to the olive colour, so I can mix and match all these pieces. You've got the cheekier style bottoms and this new style of top with the big U shape in the middle. I think that could be quite fun, but we'll see how it looks on a flat chested girl like me. And then this little version of this top as well with the gold in the middle. So I'm gonna have a big old try on. I have ordered loads of other things from Anthropology and, and other stories and a couple of other bits as well, but for the sake of time, because I really need to feed my pumpkins, um, I need to do a liquid feed, and I need to have my pamper shower, I'm not gonna film any more of the try on or anything, so I need to just blitz through it, and then I'll catch up with you when I'm about to begin my pampering. This is one piece that I'm just not sure on, and I really wish I could ask you guys, this bikini top, I never managed to find the matching bottoms. It's from Totem, and I just love it. Um, and then the skirt is from And Other Stories. They're a slightly different colour, and I do, I really, really like the combo. I'm just thinking, when would I, when would I wear this? Um, is it, I don't know if it's enough to put on for a lunch. I'm just not sure, but I do love this skirt. Do I have a matching top? I don't think they had an exact matching top, so could I wear a shirt with it? That's a pretty good colour match. Hmm. Um, by the way, hilarious with the swimming costumes. That thing that I said would barely cover my nipples, it wasn't a bikini top. It was the belt for the otherwise quite plain olive covered olive coloured swimming costume, which by the way, with the belt together, it looked absolutely gorgeous. Well, this is quite nice. If we're going somewhere where I need to cover up a little bit more, like maybe if we go into any of the churches in Florence. Yeah, this shirt is from Reese. Everything is looking a lot nicer in the mirror than it is on camera, it's so typical. It's very hot in Italy at the moment though, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I do quite like this combo. I think I will go for it. Yes, and then if I get hot, when I get hot, I can just wear it like a crop top. Yay! Um, also, I have to say, away that day, <laughs> nearly everything I'm keeping, just not the bikini top with the big U shape, because that didn't work for my very small boobies, um, but it has to be the most flattering, in my opinion, brand of swimwear for my body type of all of the swimwear brands. Really, really chuffed with all of those pieces. I also got this little pair of shorts from them as well, and they are so soft. I think they're actually called the Maldives shorts. Could they go with this shirt? Probably. No one's going to be looking that closely to see if they perfectly match. And I do love a pair of shorts over my swimming costume. The buttermilk yellow swimsuit from Anthropology was also a mega winner. So, yes, it's going well. I said I wasn't doing a try on for you and yet here we are, but I just love this. This is actually really good um, price in my opinion and it's got such a nice detail around the waist. I like having quite a lot of skin exposed around the neckline for holiday pieces. It's just very flattering, and I think it could be a day or night. Yay, very happy with this. Good evening, my darlings. It is now nearly half past eight. I wish I could have had a time machine today. I could have done with four more hours in the day today. If I hadn't have pushed my flight forward or brought my flight forward, I actually don't know what I would have done. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to go to sleep at all tonight. Um, and I would have been so stressed with so many things to do. And also I would have had mega FOMO. Ooh, where's the Velcro? Has that come off in the wash? No, I done it the wrong way. Um, yes, I would have had mega FOMO of not getting to spend time in the garden, but I'm packed. I just need to throw the final bits in and bring the cases down. So time to do some pampering. 
hallelujah. I'm gonna start by taking off my makeup with a face halo. So I always like to do this just at the very beginning. It takes off um, that, that initial bulk of makeup because especially when you use a luxury cleanser, I would like that to really be on my skin and not just taking off makeup. Obviously the cleansers that I use, they do take off makeup as well. But I just think the ingredients are so lovely. Why make them work through a layer of makeup first? So I have always loved to use a face halo. And now my skin is truly ready for a treat. I'm going to use my foaming cream cleanser from Eve Lom because after being on a flight, being in the garden, being in the warmth outside, um, and having been in the sun for a few days and about to go back into the sun, my skin needs all the love that it can possibly get. I need all of these incredible nourishing ingredients and I need the deep cleanse that the foaming cream cleanser gives to my skin. So I like to apply this. I love to apply this in the shower, which ordinarily I would do, but as um, I've been saying, I'm gonna be giving my skin a massive dose of moisture this evening. If you are post-holiday or pre-holiday, getting as much moisture into your skin is a really important factor. I like to take the foaming cleanser down my neck as well. I sometimes do get a few blemishes along my jawline and along my neck, so I take that down there. This foam cream cleanser does remove any traces of makeup, any oils on the skin, and it's packed with Eve Lom's incredible ingredients, which are just the ultimate blend to leave you with a radiant complexion while being gentle at the same time and a real focus on natural, not anti-aging, they're not against aging, but just softening the skin, fine lines, discoloration to give you a smooth and even complexion. Let's add a little bit of water to foam it up and then I take it off with the Eve Lom little cloth which also gives a really nice gentle exfoliation. So I've got wet fingers and I'm just massaging this in circular motions and it's giving such a lovely cleanse and a little massage at the same time which my face is so grateful for today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That just makes my skin feel so clean, especially the lovely cleansing cloth that you can get with Eve Lom. Okay, this is what my skin has been craving all day. This is the Eve Lom Moisture Mask, which is one of my favorite products for just a mega hit of instant hydration on the skin, a summer favorite. The first time I used this, I had a little sample and we had had a boat day in Catalonia. And if you've ever been out on the sea for a day, you'll know that it just makes your skin almost, well, on that day, I obviously hadn't used the right products in the morning, but my skin was almost sore. It was so dry, so dehydrated and parched. And the second I put this on, first of all, my skin just drank it. It needed it all. It was as though someone had just like pressed the reset button on my skin. It was such an instant <sighs> for parched skin. So ever since then, I've really known how much my skin loves this and what an incredible moisturizing hit it gives to my skin. So after a flight, after a day in aircon, um, this is this is the one. So this contains loads of incredible active ingredients that Eve Lom have cherry picked to really provide the hydration that our skin needs, long lasting hydration, um, long after the mask has either sunk in, you can leave it on as an overnight mask. I'm gonna use it as an intense mask now for about 15 to 20 minutes while I water my pots outside. But it's actually got glycerin in it, which acts as a humectant, so it actually attracts moisture into the skin. So, ooh, do you know what? You could maybe do this, like, with a facial steamer. That could be really interesting. And there's also an Irish sea moss ingredient in here, which is really calming and also super hydrating for the skin. As always with Eve Lom, no parabens, no silicones, no fragrance or any synthetic colorants or anything like that. You know that all the ingredients that Eve Lom have chosen are good for the skin. At the end of the day, it's a focus on ingredients that are going to really work for the skin without adding anything unnecessary. It's still an absolute pleasure and gorgeous thing to use, but without it being OTT for the sake of a kind of beautifully fragrant or sensorial product. And I love that because when I'm using a product like this, yes, it's nice to do, like I enjoy the feeling of having this on my skin and it is a bit of pampering me time, but 
what I want to get out of this is for my skin to get an instant mega dose of hydration when I really, really need it. And I want my skin to look radiant and feel comfortable after using it. And that is exactly what I get from this. I do have my discount code for Evelon, which is Josie20, which you can use for this. And as a little reminder, you can still get your Cotswolds Essentials bundle, which contains my favourites from Evelon, which does include the foaming cream cleanser, the oil and the SPF. When I take this off, I say when I take this off, there is a strong chance that my skin will just completely drink this in. I'm already feeling it sinking in. Um, then I will apply the oil and I've got here, Charlie and I both love this. This is the moisture cream. You can use this as a day cream or a night cream. I will use it tonight as a night cream to really lock the moisture into my skin. Josie 20 will work on this as well. And as I said, you can leave this on. So if you are looking for something really hydrating overnight and you want to step it up, then if you apply the moisture mask overnight, it actually provides 72 hours of hydration to the skin, which I think is such an incredible stat. 72 hours, is that three days? So I could apply this now. And by the time we finish our trip in Florence, my skin will still be hydrated. Isn't that absolutely crazy? I feel like for long haul flights as well, this is going to be a really fantastic option because it's also very protective for the skin's barrier. So if you know that you're going to be in an environment that's going to be quite dehydrating, like a summer holiday, like a long haul flight, then because this is clinically proven to improve the skin barrier, you're almost preempting that um, dehydration and you're able to do something about it before the dehydration actually happens. And of course, you're left with gorgeous, plump, juicy, smooth skin, which we all want at the end of the day. So a gorgeous product that I would so highly recommend adding into your summer skincare routine. That is going to go in my suitcase because I've heard it's getting up to 40 degrees in Italy right now, which is crazy. So I'm going to need all of the moisture that my skin can possibly get. And if it's humid, then even better because of the glycerin humectin effect, my skin's just going to be enjoying all the moisture moisture from the environment. So without further ado, I'm going to make the most of this time with my moisture mask on before my shower and go and water my plants. And then Charlie will be back shortly with Scarlett, Charlie's sister, because she is so kindly looking after the house and the doggies while we are away, which the boys are so excited about. But yeah, I'm going to get on top of my garden errands um, before they get back. And just like my skin enjoying moisture at the end of the day, so do my plants. <laughs> I feel like the Yves Lom origin story works quite nicely with this, with it being inspired by an English country garden. Similar requirements for care and attention, especially in the summer. My darlings, I hope you can hear me over the incredibly loud cicadas, as you might be able to guess from these vistas, I'm not at home anymore. I feel absolutely exhausted. I probably got about four hours sleep last night, having also had very, very minimal sleep the night before, but we have made it to Tuscany. We were actually so lucky, I think, today, because today, I'm sure you all heard about the massive IT um, outage that's happened and most other flights this morning were cancelled but by some incredible luck, ours wasn't. So feeling very, very lucky that we made it here. 
Oh, they're gonna quieten down now, how funny. They go in like waves of being really loud. So we made it to Florence. It is possibly the hottest temperature I think I have ever experienced. It's about 37 degrees here right now. Hence why I'm stood in the shade enjoying the breeze. As I don't think I mentioned in this vlog yet, but I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago, we are here to kick off a mega, nearly three week Italy trip. Really, really exciting. It's our mega summer holiday. So we're doing Tuscany, Florence, Lake Como, Lake Garda, Verona. It's going to be mega. And this vlog, obviously, we did the bits at home and I think I'm just gonna do the Tuscany part for the rest of this vlog. So tonight is the Andrea Bocelli concert in his hometown, an outdoor concert. It's going to be incredible. And that is why Lala is here for the first three days of our trip. So she's with us tonight and the next two nights in Florence. So we landed, we're checking into an Airbnb tonight and it's the concert, but we landed a couple of hours ago and I researched loads of places around here that we could potentially um, dine at. And I discovered, I think on Instagram, this lovely place it's called Agri Villa Ipini and, <laughs> and it is a really beautiful farmhouse on a beautiful hill my views right now are just vineyards like typical Tuscan rolling hills with the gorgeous buildings on top I'm definitely gonna send the drone out after lunch if I'm allowed. Um, it's an organic farm. It's also, I believe, there are a few hotel rooms here and they make, all the food here is vegan and all organically grown here on the site. The menu looks amazing. We've actually just ordered some bits. We were cutting it really fine before kitchen shut off, but they very kindly have waited for us. I was keeping them updated on our arrival time because basically with this IT shortage, it's it's had so many um, ricochet effects, so no tills are working, the car rental system was down, so everything has taken a lot longer today. But we got here, there's a gorgeous terrace up here that I'll take you to now. We have of course ordered pastas and salads and I can't wait to dig in. I feel quite like lightheaded um, because it's just so hot. Need to drink some more water and then head to our Airbnb for a little nap. I think that would be the best move. So this is the beautiful villa, the farmhouse. And oh my gosh, this town up here, this is not like the nicest angle of it. This is the more modern angle, but I will pop the name of this town on the screen here. We just drove through it, but it was so beautiful. It looked so historical, full of incredible kind of fortress style um, walls. I think we're gonna pay a visit to that town tomorrow. Don't know if you can see this incredible driveway that we came to get here, surrounded by the cypress trees. And then you've got these little settlements up on the hills. It's just so stereotypical Tuscan. It's so beautiful. There's flowers everywhere. It's gorgeous. It's quite a rustic place and it just, it looks so lovely. So I can't wait to have some lunch and then explore. Oh, it's just so funny going from Provence to here in such a short space of time, how iconic and different the scenery is in each place. Hey. <laughs> Plunker and How are you doing? Eh, dove? La stazione? Me chiamo Fabrizio. Tutto bene. <laughs> so we're starting off with some bread and olive oil. How do you rate the olive oil, darling? Made in casa. I'm never going to give a 10 out of 10 for anything, but this is a 9. A 9? Wow. That is really good olive oil. Agrivilla i Pinni, Tuscany. Don't you think? Yeah. Well, you've not tried it, have you? <laughs> not yet. Mm. Agrivilla i Pinni, that's the name of this um. place. Gorgeous. I think it helps with the bread, sort of quite a simple bread. Yeah. I think it's all vegan as well, you know. Mm. All vegan. Is bread normally vegan? Yes. Well, good. <laughs> no chicken in this bread. Thank you so much. This is the cashew cream? Cashew mozzarella. Cashew mozzarella. Yes. Wow. Wow. Well then the herby lentils, uh, activated some flowers with some beetroot powder right on it. Then the sesame seaweed and uh, marinated. This is seaweed? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You went swimming to find it? <laughs> well, we wish we had some over here. Unfortunately, A bit we far. just uh, buy them. <laughs> Wow. 
here's our main. This is all vegan. It's a courgette and spring onion pasta with a hazelnut parm parmesan and beetroot crisp. We've got some potato wedges. Lola's got a ravioli. my head has actually expanded in size because this hat no longer like properly wedges on and I'm very much feel like I've just kind of plonked a hat on my head but it's very much needed given the temperatures today we've come into San Cha, what's what's the name again? San Gimignano. San Gimignano, which is um, the town that I briefly showed you from the windscreen of the car as we were driving to Ipini. And so this is a very, very old medieval town, really well known for its towers. They were built between the 13th and the 15th century by wealthy families that lived here back then. I feel like this whole area is kind of known for their towers. We're not too far away from Pisa here. And they believed that the closer they were to the sky, the closer they were to heaven. There used to be around 70 of these incredible towers. Now there's, I think, only 13. Um, but even all the streets here, it feels like you're in a medieval town. It's really beautiful. Quite a lot of people here. It's obviously quite a popular place for tourists that are visiting Florence. It's about an hour away from Florence, just happens to be on our route to where we're heading this evening. But we are very much in need of a pistachio ice cream. <laughs> Lala has spotted sausage dog socks. Can you imagine wearing socks that long on a day like today? I'm wearing them. I mean, I, this is my yeah, airport. crazy. My airport outfit. Oh my gosh. Ice. Ice. So it obviously gets cold here. Because we're up quite high, aren't we? Wow. I mean, look at these streets. And there's one of the towers. You can see them from miles away. It's so beautiful. Oh, how gorgeous they are. And the lovely salad servers. Yeah. Look at these beautiful plates. Oh, Charlie, look. It's like I'm in Tarmina. Yeah. So this is, oh, this is what this place is known for, the beautiful sunflowers and the iconic yeah. towers. How beautiful. Oh gosh, they've got gorgeous bits. Look at these lovely green bowls. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at that olive pourer. That is beautiful. Imagine oh, yeah. if you had a holiday home. Yeah, that. it's more for abroad, isn't it? Oh my gosh, on your picnic table. <gasps> That's, That's so, so lovely. Look at these beautiful oh, olive oil yeah. pourers. My goodness. Yeah. Little honey jars. Oh. oh my goodness, look at this chocolate fountain. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Oh, wow we pistachio <gasps> caramel and coconut with the lemon. Pistachio per favore. Sure. Wow. Grazie mille. Mala one with the lemon? Coconut with the lemon. Yes, thank mm. you. Grazie. You're welcome. Wow. I have to say, even though it's pretty touristy here, like it's very busy, all of the boutiques are such lovely quality, proper, good quality local produce. This one has got olive oils and cold meats and cheeses. And we are on the hunt for a picky dinner. So this is perfect. This is for... For dinner, salami? No, no this guanciale is what you want to use for carbonara. Carbonara. Guanciale. This is the proper stuff. For carbonara. So this is what you use for carbonara, really. Not Wow. Guanciale. Is that right? Most people use this, right? Yes. <coughs> Look at all these cheeses. Yeah, Pecorino, tartufolo. So we're picking up some of this lovely salami. It is a traditional Tuscan salami with wild boar and pork made on the farm owned by the shop owners. They've also got some lovely wines, pasta of course, but we just had a load of pasta for lunch. And then we're gonna find a nice bakery, get some bread. Wow, perfect. Grazie mille. We've seen signs for this place everywhere. It's the Museum of Torture. I honestly can't think of anything worse than going through and seeing how people have been tortured through the medieval ages. No grazie. <laughs> Look at all of the details on these streets, like the old lamps, the iron shutters on the shops. Gosh, and different kinds of pastas, different olive oils. The produce in Italy is just out of this world. My goodness. I know. Tricolore pasta. Pizzeria e bruschetteria, primi piatti. Nice. So this is one of the main squares, and this place, Gelateria del Olmo, says it's the best ice cream in the world. So I think it would be rude if we didn't try it. 
How is your world's best ice cream? Very good. It's yeah? Best in the world. Is it? Yes. Jolly good. Absolutely. That's what I wanted to hear. I've got pistachio and hazelnut coming. I have gone for Sicilian pistachio and nocciola, which I'm pretty sure is hazelnut. It is so creamy. It is absolutely delicious. Is it the best ice cream in the world? It's yeah, it's definitely up. It's up there. Mm. Tutto bene. Cocoa and limoncello. Yeah. And you? I went more sorbet, yeah. lemon and passion fruit. Nice. Very refreshing. Mm. And they're melting quick, which means it's the real deal. Wow, look at this square, my goodness. It feels incredibly medieval. You can just imagine them having duels in here with their swords and goodness knows what else, knights in shining armor. It's incredible. Some more lovely produce. All of these shops are just gorgeous, full of so many lovely things. Pecorino Gamo Milla. from my face my gosh it's super breezy we have just checked into our Airbnb for this evening so we are here in I don't even know where the middle of the Tuscan countryside very close to Andrea Bocelli's hometown because we have the very very special outdoor concert tonight at Teatro del Silencio there's been a lot of helicopter action going on around here our Airbnb is about three minutes away from the venue so I think Andrea's special guests are probably getting a helicopter in from Florence or from Pisa. It is just so beautiful here. It's starting to cool down a little bit. It is quarter to seven, um, but it's still very, very toasty. The Airbnb is really rustic in a farmhouse. We're surrounded by these incredible views. I will give you a little look around where we are staying tonight. Gosh, so the sun is setting over this hill. Oh, it is super breezy. There is a lovely old farmhouse up on the hill in that direction. Oh, another helicopter, oh my gosh. This is the farmhouse that we're staying in. They have very cleverly split it up into a few different apartments. There is an outdoor pizza oven over here, and then each apartment, so I think there's maybe like six apartments within the farmhouse, they've made these little pergolas. Each apartment has its own pergola. Do you know what? I actually think that that helicopter is just doing laps of the countryside, so maybe when you get to the concert you can book to go for like a little 10 minute helicopter tour, which I totally would do because how incredible, just flying over the Tuscan hills. Of course, I have bought my drone, so we can do a little bit of flying of our own, but um, I don't think I'm gonna do that while there are quite so many helicopters going around. We've got a swimming pool here with a view over more beautiful Tuscan countryside. And in here is our little apartment. Excuse my suitcase, I've just exploded everywhere. Little farmhouse style dining table. Nice and cool in these old buildings. Little smeg fridge. Armoire style cupboard. And then just a cute little kitchen. Very rustic, but just what we need for this evening. Okay, you're balanced in a plant pot. <laughs> but before I put on my lovely dress for this evening, I just want to show you the dress I've been wearing today for exploring. It's this lovely one that I showed you earlier in the vlog, I think, from And Other Stories. It's this lovely deep green shade. I did spill ice cream on it, so I have given it a quick rinse. Um, but hopefully, 
<laughs> you can't see that. It's got a lovely back detail as well. It's almost like a little kind of halter style. But I really like this ruched ruched bodice oh my gosh it's such a nice temperature now so yeah that's what i've been wearing today i did bring my oscar de la renta dress with me for this evening so i'm gonna get changed and then we're ready to go to teatro de silencio <laughs> Lala. Very excited. We are yes. wearing our matching Oscar You might remember another fabulous occasion that Lala wore this dress. Absolutely, a bit of deja vu. It's mm -hmm. very, very glam. Can you tell us the facts that you were telling so, on the car? <clears throat> I thought this was a con like a concert setup that they use every, you know, throughout summer, but it's only used by Andrea Bocelli. And he persuaded Andrea Bocelli them. Andrea built this place, or he arranged for this to be built. Isn't that really cool? Yeah, he, he agreed with the local council to set it up in 2006 and there's only been I think around 20 concerts to date. Wow. Yeah. Maybe no 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 18 18 oh, concerts. 2006 to now. And it's a full moon tonight as well. Look at the moon, it's a full moon. Where is it? Over there. It's absolutely incredible and this entire setup is built into the hills, completely open air. I think it's about to start and our seats are amazing. to the one and only Andrea Bocelli.
Good morning, my darlings, from our sleepy little cottage. Cottage? I don't know what the Italian for, like, farmhouse cottage would be. In Spanish, it would be a finca. Who knows? If you know, let me know down below. We are all just in a kind of state of, oh my gosh, did that really happen? Last night was... The word incredible, magical, sensational just doesn't even come near it. To watch Andrea Bocelli perform so beautifully in an open air theater that he literally built in his hometown with his friends, with his family. It was absolutely incredible. We had amazing seats. We could see him so up close and personal. We had great seats at Hyde Park as well, but we mostly watched him on the screen because then you can see facial expressions and things. But we could see that with our own eyes this time. And it was lovely because you, like at Hyde Park, he was just singing, but here he was introducing his friends, he was chatting. Um, and I don't think I'd ever heard Andrea Bocelli speak before, but in that setting, literally nestled into the rolling Tuscan hills, the countryside, the full moon behind him, it was just literally a night I will never forget. The performance started around 9 and ended about half past midnight. So after our 4am alarm, um, actually no, I got up at 3.30 <laughs> yesterday morning. It was a long, long day, so we slept in until half past 8 this morning. But we slept well. Packing up my little suitcase now because we're just going to grab a really quick breakfast at the Airbnb and then we are going to hit the road to Florence. I just showed you a very, very quick two minute makeup and I'll pop a clip on the screen here. I also have now destroyed two blushes on this very, very short trip already. Um, I, I don't know what happened to the Rare Beauty one and then this morning I just dropped my Merit one face down. They both still work but um, there we go two blushes down. I've got my magical Eve Lom, my favorite SPF 50 on, and actually I need to use my Eve Lom Kiss Mix because my lips need hydrating. This is a really balmy, a balmy lip balm. It's just really, really hydrating, so great for when you are traveling. And I also find that it preps the lips perfectly for makeup. So this, my SPF, my, where is it? Eve Lom Intense Hydration Serum um, before my moisturizer, before my SPF as the perfect skincare routine to keep my skin glowing while you are away and at home as well, but I wasn't gonna leave this behind. So I'm gonna go and grab a really quick breakfast now. I've got on my Club Monaco. I call this my heat wave dress because I pull it out whenever we have a heat wave in the UK and I think it's going to be nearly 40 degrees in Florence today, which is crazy. So I'm excited for another beautiful day in Tuscany. Okay, my darlings, an hour and a half in the car later and we have made it to Florence. We have just had quite an interesting drive through beautiful Tuscan countryside and then up here to Florence. Let's just say Italian drivers are something else my goodness um all on a little bit of a death wish <laughs> i would say but we just um we haven't quite checked in we've just arrived at our hotel for the next two nights charlie has booked us in to the four seasons in florence and we are just going to chill i think by the pool this afternoon until our rooms are ready and then we've got dinner here at the hotel haven't looked around at all yet literally just come straight out to the pool we're going to grab an iced coffee and then tomorrow we're going to explore but that might just be in the next vlog so for now i'm going to pop a bikini on cover myself in factor 50 it's probably about 36 degrees at the moment it's there's a nice breeze um but it's perfect for an afternoon by the pool so florence is obviously a really kind of densely packed city but there are some beautiful gardens and luckily probably why charlie chose it the, the um four seasons has lots of outside space this beautiful pergola this lovely woodland and garden area, which I'm going to explore a bit later. And the pool area is gorgeous. Probably show it to you a bit later though, because it's full of children at the moment. Don't want to catch anything on camera that we shouldn't. But yeah, look at these gorgeous gardens, lots of lovely sculptures. Let's take a look around here. So I don't know what any of these things are yet, but Il Palagio, Al Fresco, that is the uh, 
place that we're having lunch and the Palazzo della Cererdesca over this way. But yes, these gardens are just lovely. So many little sculptures, beautiful fountains. It's a gorgeous spot. just set up camp at the poolside and Charlie's got a very nifty little um, toiletry bag and I know that lots of you have got husbands or fathers for gift ideas. Sorry? Oh okay. <laughs> Show us the outside. It's really nice so it's like a green, yeah. what would you call that? Um, I don't really know, like canvasy almost. And then that's, yeah. um, that reminds me of the uh, Balenciaga, um, not yeah. Balenciaga, Bottega bags. Yeah, Bottega Ven Veneta. Veneta. So um, they do, what's clever is they do... Did it come with these bits? Yeah, it came wow. with that. So, and then obviously, I mean, look, it's quite a small one. I think it would be good. What it comes with... Whoop, look at that for genius, a catch. What's genius is these are all flight safe. Oh, really? Yeah. And then it comes with like a plastic, but quite a hard plastic, so you could reuse Multi -use. it. Multi-use bag that you put your liquids liquids in and then you can take that out and put it in the in the clever. basket so i think that's quite clever yeah they also do one which i've got it's a brand called man tidy i think the brand name could do it some work yeah but um they also do a smaller version of that which has cables so like your oh, phone that's so clever. You imagine that setup yeah it's got like phone cables where do you find things like this this thing called the internet i think it's catching on um, <laughs> Some bloke uh, called Tim Berners-Lee invented it, a British guy, actually he didn't, sorry, he invented the World Wide Web. I don't w know who invented w w dot. I don't know who invented the internet, but he made the internet useful. Sorry, so a Brit invented www dot? Correct. So we don't really use that, www, the www dot anymore, do we? fairly useless. I wouldn't put perfume on before going in the sun. That's going to act like a magnifier on your skin. Doorknob. Yeah. We are here at lunch. <laughs> Charlie would like to tell you his new favourite words. Bellissimo. Meaning? Beautiful. Yes. Benissimo. Benissimo. Benissimo, which means very good. Very good. And then fantastic. But you sure. have to do that with the fantastico. fantastico. Yes. You have to throw it away with your hands. Fantastico. Otherwise, it doesn't count. No. And what about Fabulenco? Can we just, can we just say though? I think Italian is the most beautiful language in the world. <gasps> I think the only debate is Italian or Spanish. I agree. And Italian, I think, does trump it. I think the Italians sing their words more. They're very like a, they're like a song. A motive. Bellissimo. Yeah. Oh, Lots wow. of ups we and downs. Is. is that an Probably. Oh, it looks like a Pims, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll ask because it looks good. It yeah. looks bellissimo. bellissimo. No, fantastico. Looks delicious. I'll take this one. Grazie mille. Thank you. you. Need <laughs> Lunch was glorious. I probably didn't need an entire pizza, but when in Rome, when in Florence, thing that I love about this hotel so far. All the staff are amazing. Everyone knows your name. Mrs. Irons, can I show you to your table? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and they bring little treats around to you by the pool, which I love. We've had little watermelon, like, frosé coolers, and now we've got these little coffee milkshakes. They are so yummy, just bite-sized. So I'm just going to finish this, and then we are going to go for a 10-minute walk just around the gardens to digest and explore. Well my darlings, it's about half past six now. I have just come back to the room after a lovely afternoon by the pool. Hope the echo is not too annoying. How annoying was that in the last vlog with my microphone? I think I must have got dust in it or something. I was watching back the edit and I was just so annoyed. I need to watch my clips back after I film them to check and then not film an entire vlog <laughs> with a dodgy microphone. Hopefully this one is better, <laughs> my goodness. I'm actually on my backup camera while I try and sort out the microphone in the other one. So yeah, Charlie's still down by the pool, but I'm gonna have a nice pampering shower, wash my hair, a little top tip if you really can't be bothered to iron or steam things, leave the dress that you're planning on wearing that evening hanging up just outside your shower or inside your shower, depending on the size, and then you can let the steam just gently soften the creases. It definitely helps, it won't make it as perfect as ironing would, um, but it definitely helps. I'm aware that this vlog is probably getting super long, so 
I'm probably going to end it very, very shortly and then start a new Florence one. But my post pool day pamper, I bought my little mini. Um, how many mil is this? Only 50 mil of the Eve Long cleanser, the original and the best. This was designed by Eve Long herself in 1985, inspired by botanical ingredients from her grandmother's garden. I believe there's one sold every 30 seconds. Just word of mouth, people telling their friends and anyone who will listen how glorious this is. It removes makeup, it cleanses oils from the skin. I think I've already spoken about this in this vlog, but of course I wanted to bring it with me because the ingredients just make it so calming for the skin. Um, even, oh, the hotel randomly provide a foreo, um, like a little one that you can borrow while you're here. I bet that would be so nice to give a deeper cleanse with the cleansing balm. Haven't used these in a while. Ooh, because this cleansing balm has got a really nice amount of slip, so it's really good for um, facial massage. And then when I'm out of the shower, I'm going to drench my skin in the hydration serum, same as I did this morning. And then I will pop my Evlom SPF, and the SPF and the cleansing balm do come in my Evlom Cotswolds essentials edit and with that edit you actually get 25% off the retail price so it's really worth getting that because you get all of my favorite pieces you get the facial oil and you get the foam cleanser which I'm going to use actually I won't need to now but I normally take into the shower with me you can see this is just removing all of my makeup with this I hope you can hear me over the vibrations sometimes it's a bit ultrasonic Ooh, I don't know if you'll have been able to hear anything I just said because just remember that this gives out kind of ultrasonic um, waves and it sometimes fiddles with the noise on my camera. But yes, this cleanses, tones, hydrates, removes makeup, leaves you with gorgeous radiant skin and this size is just so good for traveling. So I'm going to take this off with a flannel. I do normally like to use it with the Eve Lam muslin cloth because then you get a really nice exfoliation as well. But I already used mine last night and I need to wash it. A little bit gross, but it also removes my mascara as well, which is great. Um, and it doesn't leave your skin feeling tight or uncomfortable because of the oils in there. It's super hydrating. So great after a day in the sun. <laughs> uh, right, time to get in the shower. Well, that was a gorgeously pampering shower and these robes are so fluffy. I don't think I've ever seen a robe with such a smart collar. You can pop your collar on these robes. It's kind of like a trench coat <laughs> style collar. How funny. Um, I'm going to, I was going to say steal, but they're freebies. I'm going to take this shower cap, not because I need it, but because I've seen people putting lovely white dresses on when you have to put your dress on over your head. Um, and putting a shower cap over their face to stop their makeup from going on the dress. And I know that I've got some dresses like that on this holiday, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that just in case the next hotel doesn't have a shower cap. So just to finish off the mega hydration for my skin, Eve Lom Intense Moisture Serum, Intense Hydration Serum, and these arrived in a PR package just before we left from Lancaster. They are the self-tan sun-kissed face drops. And I thought because this serum is so nice and almost like a, a very watery consistency, it makes it really good for blending with tanning drops. So I'm actually gonna take a pretty full pipette. You can never have too much hydration serum. And then a half pipette, can you see, of the tanning drops. Mixing the two together in the palm of my hand. They blend together perfectly. And if I do this every evening, then my face should tan, hopefully, at the same pace as my body. Obviously, because I wear my Evlon Factor 50. I hope I don't run out on this holiday. I have got a backup. And I always keep my face out of the sun, so my face basically doesn't tan. So, oh, this smells really nice as a combination. Yeah, I basically have to apply tanning drops to my face so that it can keep up with the little bit of a tan that I'll get on my body. Just make sure that you wash your hands afterwards. Mmm, nice combo. Finishing with the Eve Lom Kiss Mix. 
because this is gorgeous for preparing the lips for lipstick later on. So hydration on the face, hydration on the lips. It's a little bit tingly. I find that it gives me a really good pout. So even on Kiss Mix, you'll be able to use Josie 20 on this. You'll be able to use Josie 20 on the hydration serum. And then these two you can get in my bundle and the moisture mask that I showed you yesterday, the day before yesterday, that is also Josie 20. Um, so there we go. Oh my goodness. I'm excited for dinner tonight. I think the restaurant is a Michelin star restaurant. But as I said, this vlog, I mean, even this clip is nearly four minutes long. I'm going to end the vlog here, darlings. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to watch our time in Florence, that will be in the next vlog. So for now, if you got to the end, leave the word robe <laughs> in your comment and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.